Okay, I just want to uh, do an overview of our Emerging Technologies course. Um, here on the course home, I'm going to pull up uh, content and go to the syllabus for the course. And I found that if you have these appear in their own page, they're a little easier to read. And what we'll do is just shoot down this. The course purpose, um, the key phrase into that is the course bridges the gap between computing skills and workplace applications. That really is the key. And then we, we try to make it so we, we teach a little software, but we teach a lot of application and how uh, you need to be thinking about using the applications, logical thinking, sequence uh, results. That's the basic, or that's the major emphasis of this course, is the application of technology. And then the second uh, major focus is the, excuse me, sorry about that. So, um, up here we're talking about the um, bridging the gap, and then, sorry about that, so, um, up here we're talking about the um, bridging the gap, and then also we, we look at the emerging technologies that are using in, uh, used in health and public health and medicine. These are things we find, new, uh, new apps we find, new software, social media, we look at um, all aspects of technology and how they are used in um, health care today and public health. The uh, competencies addressed, the outcomes uh, are listed on the syllabus. Now, the major projects, uh, the, the, the largest project of this is the presentation project. Now, I have a whole handout which we'll go over in just a few minutes about that about the uh, class presentation. Two exams, they're, they're basic exams, a lot of terminology, um, a lot of how to um, explain something. I always like to tell the students to approach this class as you're learning these things to share with people in your office. So that's the level of clarity I hope everyone has. From that, we go down to the in-class skill demonstrations. These are some hands-on um, application exams, if you will, where you sit down and actually um, demonstrate skills. Uh, the next one, each student creates an e-resume, an electronic resume. Uh, this is web-based. We'll go over that. And it also helps everyone really solidify a good resume. The next section is skill challenge, challenges. Um, these range from five minute assignments to possibly 10 or 12 hour assignments. What we try to do is go over the basic um, aspects of the different software applications we deal with, provide everyone with some challenges using those skills, and, and you turn those in. And everything's progressive, so we start off doing a basic function and we build on that. Now in this class, we only cover about 5% of most of the software, but we try to give a good platform so that if you want to learn more and want to spend more time on this, you can. And I encourage everyone to do this because on every job um, Add we see almost technology is always one of the highest skills or highest areas people are looking for. Um, there's the summary, excuse me, exams, presentation project skill challenges, the grading scale, and then with just the logistics of the course, the rest of the syllabi. In our week schedule, um, and how we, sometimes on the online courses we have to amend this, how we try to get people together and so on. So we'll, we'll be uh, very flexible in at, it's when we're going to get things uh, turned in and how we're going to progress. So that's the course syllabi. Now I'm going to uh, pull up the project presentation. So I'm going to close the syllabus and I'll go back to course information. And you'll see presentation project guideline. We'll open it up in its own window.
Now it's a 200 point project so it is significant. It's a seven minute presentation. It is based in a PowerPoint format but it has an oral component which for the online students that can be recorded but it has multiple parts. It has PowerPoint slides, video created by student, video clip related to the topic found by the students, a printed four-page handout, the oral component, the, the uh, narrative if you will, and then a submission packet how we put all the files together and turn those in. So here are some uh, guidelines for the PowerPoint. You know, a lot of people say they can use PowerPoint and most can, but it's using it and using it uh, well is usually quite different. Now let's get this out of the way up front. If you'll notice if you uh, the PowerPoint is worth 50 points. If you add all the minuses up, they're worth much more than 50. The reason for that is a few semesters to go, we had a student who made a major mistake in, in a lot of the different areas, or major mistakes in a lot of different areas. But the way the point structures were, uh, they were actually able to pass the class. And uh, it wasn't fair to the student, it wasn't fair to um, the other students in the class. So uh, to be fair about this, you can't miss more than 50 points. But if you do certain things, you're going to miss, you, the student would miss a lot. But that's, that's a very rare, rare case. But that's why we have cer certain things that you just have to be able to do. Uh, like all original work, we don't use templates in this course, and that's a, a big deduction. If you do a PowerPoint and you can't present it as in um, slide view for a group, it really doesn't count. So, But we'll talk more about PowerPoint, but that's one of the major parts of the presentation. The next part is a two-minute video. This video will be created by the student, and they will narrate, record their own narration for 60 seconds. Uh, we need to have a lot of images. We don't want to have an image on the screen for too long. The more important an image is, the longer it could be, be on the screen. Uh, we do want some uh, background music soundtrack when no one's speaking. And we want that behind the person narrating it. But we want it to be very low so you can actually hear the narration uh, with the background music very subtle. Uh, slides, opening title and closing slides, and then a transition between the different images. Now we're going to go learn how to do everything in here. Um, same thing about a related video clip. Some people use this second video clip as humor to uh, make certain points. Uh, they can be to expound on your topic. And let me take a second here to talk about topics. We encourage uh, people to do one or two things. The first topic is to find a piece of technology that is currently being used. This can be a new electronic health record software program. This can be a new uh, application on a phone um, that's used to track fitness activities or dietary issues. It could be some kind of uh, hard component like a 3D printer that uses stem cells for burn victims. A lot of advanced cutting edge technology that's currently being used out there, be it an application, software, or hardware. The other thing you can do is to find a current application that may be used for something else but could be changed to use in public health or health care. We've had people take applications that sell, uh, provide coupons for activities, and they, they took that and, and changed that idea that only had healthy items on it, healthy meals and healthy um, activities that were sold there, living healthy instead of living social. So you can either take and highlight an art, uh, um, a product that currently exists that helps um, health care, health, overall public health, or be creative and take something that currently exists and change it, manipulate it to be in the health care, public health arena. Of course, if you come up with a great idea, we only ask that we have 
you know, a small percentage of the profits when you become a zillionaire. So the second video is something that exists that you can use. Now the printed handout, we use 11 by 17 piece of paper, which makes four nice eight and a half by 11 pages. And this provides greater detail about your topic. You may hand some, you, you may present in the class the oral component with your PowerPoint. You give some overviews, but let's say that we wanted to learn more about your topic. Well, this is when you can put a lot of details in the handout. And this is a common practice. If you go to a presentation, they may highlight the major points and then the details are handed out on a, on a flyer. And the fifth part is the oral, oral component. That is when you're in front of the group or online guiding us through this um, and introducing, summarizing your videos, referring to your handout. So that's the oral component. And then the last one is just the submission packet, and that's how you turn everything in. Uh, for the online students, this I will probably have to do this through a Dropbox because these files get very large with the videos. So that's sort of an overview of the class, uh, both the class syllabus and the major project, the presentation project. Okay, thank you very much, and have a great day.